Make sure you pay me for being in your videos. Shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, oh boy, this shit banging. Oh, Okay, you guys, so we are in the car and we are on our way to one return some stuff at the mall. And yeah, so this is um, the beginning of my prep video for my trip to California. Like I told you guys last time, we are taking a trip, so we're gonna be leaving on Friday and I'm basically just gonna do like the prep and then a separate vlog of while we're there. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll see you at the mall. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I definitely did not record at the mall yesterday. Um, basically, I forgot my phone and that's what I, I was like in a rush to get out and I was just like honestly doing too much. So I forgot my phone at home while we were at the mall, which is what I was gonna vlog on. So I didn't get any vlog, so I'm sorry. And um, I just worked out this morning. Um, and yeah, so the next thing on my list for prepping for my trip is going to be straightening my hair just because honestly, I like to travel with my hair straight because it's a lot less. Well, for one, I'm flying, so you can't have like a lot of product. You know what I'm saying? Like I would need to have like travel size products, which I don't and I'm just not even gonna go through the hassle so instead I'm just gonna bring my brush my one product and my hot tools um but yeah so I'm gonna do my hair and I need to wax my upper lip which I do that myself um and yeah I'm probably not gonna show you guys me straightening my hair just because it's such a lengthy process and I already really don't want to be doing it anyways and it's just like I mean you guys know what the vibe is on that unless yeah no I don't <laughs> and aside from that um I don't know if I'm gonna be waxing my upper lip today or tomorrow but whenever I decide to do it I will bring you guys along. I just wanted to give you guys an update on where we're at. Um, I think after I do my hair, I'm going to try to actually leave the house and run some errands. So I'll take you guys with me to do that. But yeah, that's it for now. See you guys when I see you guys. Okay, hi guys. I just made it to Target. So I'm going to run in here and try to... Get some disposables, maybe a swimsuit, and yeah, we'll just see what we get into, what we stumble upon. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to run in and out. I just have to like parallel park and almost had a heart attack because I definitely did a U-turn somewhere where I wasn't supposed to and there was cars coming. So now that my upper lip is sweating, cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go inside, so I'll see you guys after. Okay. never let yourself be vulnerable okay so luckily I was right this um, this Walmart happened to have everything I needed and more and I wanted to get two of the disposable cameras and they sold a value pack so I got two which was perfect and then I just got like little travel size stuff and they got me with the McDonald's. I got myself a Happy Meal. Just as like a little something, you know. I don't know, but I got everything I needed. So I'm super excited. Now I just have to go home and plan my outfits. And I'm really sorry I haven't really been like showing you guys what I'm doing. I keep saying what I'm doing and then not actually showing you. I was just really locked in and focused when I went in to get the cameras because I needed to focus and then I forgot but 
got everything I needed. So now we're we up and we're on to the next baby. Okay, you guys, it is definitely later in the day, but I just really quickly wanted to show you what I got from the store because I don't think I thoroughly explained. Um, as you know, I went to get the disposable cameras, so I got these, and I'm super excited because it came with two, and I didn't even know that they made a value pack with two. So cute. Travel size toothpaste. Two travel size lotions because you don't want to be ashy. Like someone I always know. <laughs> Whatever. I got these like French manicure things because I'm gonna do French chips on my toes, so I'm really excited. And then I got some makeup wipes, a toothbrush holder. some shampoo and conditioner and I know they're not the same brand but they honestly did not have one of each from the same brand oddly yeah, enough whatever <laughs> well then I guess you're not gonna wash your hair because you're the reason why I brought the shampoo because that bitch not washing her hair because my hair is straight um also I got us uh, some new toothbrushes to travel with because Lord knows he needs a new toothbrush. Um, some deodorant, dry shampoo, and then I got no polish remover, but this is just so I can do my toes a little later on. And then lastly, I got some melatonin gummies, 10 milligram sleep support because I have to wake up at 3 to take my mom to the airport tomorrow because they leave tomorrow. We leave on Friday. And I'm not going to be able to go to sleep that early. I go to bed around like midnight. So I'm going to try my best tonight. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I got. And then once I'm doing more shit, I'll let you know. So see you when I see you. and good morning so it's already been a little bit of a crazy morning and sorry for this angle but I'm just trying to like block out all the mess in the background I'm at my mom's house and she's currently in the process of renovating her house so I just don't want to get all of her stuff in the background so again sorry about the angle but um yeah so as I told you guys yesterday, I was supposed to take my family to the airport today at 3 a.m. And I bought those melatonin gummies last night or yesterday. And I fucked up, you guys. I fucked up because I took one and I did not wake up. I didn't wake up to take my family. I was supposed to take, like, be here at 3 to pick them up, 3 a.m. Tondre rolls over, he taps me, he's like, hey, what time do you have to leave? I check my phone, it's 5 a.m. It's two hours past the time that I was supposed to be taking them to the airport. And I had like 30 missed calls from my mom, my sister, and my grandma. So it's fucked up. It was fucked up. And it's not that I didn't set my alarm or anything like that, I just did not wake up did not hear it like nothing i slept through everything and i feel so bad but luckily for them they made it to their flight and they should be actually landing like right now so that's really exciting tondra and i are gonna leave to meet them tomorrow so i'm really excited about that too um I'm just here to like feed my dogs and stuff and take them out since my family's not home. Um, and so yeah, sorry if you can hear my laundry in the background too. Tumbling away, baby. Um, but yeah, I would just thought I would give you guys an update. I was going to go get my nails done, but I really don't have the time to do that right now. And honestly, it's just going to save me money, which is nice, but I'm going to give myself like a really cute little French tip petty later and then try to do something cute with my nails um and then i just need to like go home and pack and stuff 
but I have so much shit to do today you guys that I'm like in a panic so yeah also last thing before I let you guys go can we take a moment to acknowledge how straight my hair is with no frizz because usually there's like frizz really bad it frizzes really really bad but it's crazy because I have like an expensive straightener and my hair is still never like as straight as I desire for it to be and so this morning I was like oh I can like straighten my hair take out the frizz while I'm waiting on my laundry so I used one of my mom's old ones because obviously she like took her good one with her to LA um and let me just tell you guys that the I think it's a Revlon it's like a Revlon one of the big flat ones I don't know but my hair is like so straight not a bit of frizz it's like amazing actually I'm gonna steal it because I know she doesn't use it so I'm gonna like use it as a backup one for you guys Ooh. there might be a few kinks at the top so don't look at that but like you know what I'm saying I'm like wow well, okay work but yeah aside from that I'm just this is what I'm up to today and hopefully the rest of the day will not be a mess but can't be too sure um yeah but I'll catch up with you guys later when I'm doing something else reporting live from my bed okay you guys it's later and I'm kind of getting I'm blah, 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 whatever it's later and I'm kind of doing something else not really I should be doing something else like I said earlier I have a lot of shit to do and I'm so stressed that I'm doing like none of it um I'm going to be going to lunch though with my nephew and my sister here in a little bit he's gonna be with his dad for the summer so he wants to have lunch and hang out with me before he leaves so I'm so excited and um yeah i just made it back home i'm honestly so exhausted that's why i can't do anything like i woke up i told you guys earlier how badly i fucked up and didn't take my family um and i woke up at five in a panic but that's when Tondre woke me up but i never went back to sleep because i was just i feel so bad like i felt so bad and i still feel so bad because i know that my mom was probably like freaking out when i did talk to her finally she was like honestly i just want to make sure you're okay because it's not like you to not answer your phone and that's the thing you guys i am not irresponsible like when it comes to stuff like that if i tell someone i'm gonna do something like i do it and i definitely don't sleep through things like that is not like me but like i said i fucked up by taking the melatonin i actually have never taken melatonin last night was my first time so i probably should not have done that I'm gonna do it again tonight <laughs> just because I got the best sleep of my life and my flight doesn't leave until like later in the day so I think I should be fine and I'm gonna set like 30 alarms and not put my phone on do not disturb um, tonight so I can wake up but yeah I just like wanted to chat with you guys and I'm honestly so excited I haven't been anywhere in over a year and a half like probably I have probably haven't traveled anywhere like outside of Texas in like two years which is crazy to me um so I'm just really excited for a change of scenery this Pfizer baddie is about to get on her first flight in a long time so we are motherfucking up um aside from that yeah I'm gonna have Mexican food for lunch and I'm so excited because I've been wanting Mexican food even though it's like not really a part of my diet plan um but you know what it's fine so yeah um i need to get packing so i guess i'm gonna do that while i wait for my sister my nephew and yeah so i really quickly wanted to show you guys what we're working with here also i never gave like an updated apartment um here i'll turn it around i hate I never gave an updated like apartment tour um, I finally got some art which is really cute and yeah I just wanted to say that for no reason um, but basically I just wanted to show you guys the rack setup 
that we have going on here and it's actually really cute this rack normally goes in our guest bedroom slash office but Tandre likes to set out his clothes before we go so this is the um like jacket he's gonna wear to the wedding and then these are the pants he's gonna wear with it i actually picked everything out and he really liked it and then you guys if anyone's listened to the podcast then you know that i hate when men wear button down shirts with the collar with short sleeves i don't know why it just aches me out and we definitely thought this was long sleeve when we were purchasing it and then tundra got home tried it on and it was short sleeve so jokes on me um but yeah and then i'm gonna be wearing this dress to the wedding and honestly i'm not into floral at all i was having such a hard time picking like a dress for whatever reason i really like hate flowers but this actually looks so good on the model and then when i tried it on it looked even better and it has this really beautiful slit it's just really really pretty and frame shaping and so yeah we're excited but this is the rack and i've put zero of my clothes on it so that's cute okay you guys oh my gosh my lips are like fucking dark my lips are so dark because i put on lip gloss but i didn't realize that the combo like up close it's not that bad but from far away i don't know okay what i was gonna say was i'm now back from lunch and i'm gonna start packing my clothes I've kind of pre-planned my outfits, but I haven't actually tried them on together, so now it's the fun part. I'm going to try everything on before I pack it to see if I like it, and we're going to look at it together, decide, should we take it, should we not? So let's get into it. I still have other stuff that I have to pack. I just haven't gotten around to it and I have more stuff I have to do later. So I have to stop my packing, get ready, go do that stuff and then come back. Um, but now that I'm done packing, I'm going to be waxing my upper lip and probably just like shaving my face to make it nice and smooth. Um, and I wanted to show you guys the process, but I'm not gonna talk through it because I do not like the vent in my bathroom. I feel like it's just so loud and you can hear it really bad um, in the video. So I'm probably just gonna put like music over this part or something, um, and so yeah. Also, before I start, I, ooh, <laughs> I look crazy. Um, before I start, I just wanted to quickly kind of show you guys, sorry, turned it on. 
make it not look a hot mess over here. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, the wax like kit and set that I use. So hold on. Okay, so this is the wax set that I get. It's just the um, Gigi wax set, and I got it at Sally's. Um, I grew up, my mom had one similar, but it was like the older version, and she just grew up doing our eyebrows and stuff. Um, and that's why I know how to do my eyebrows, and it came with like the actual pads that you put down after you know like the part that you rip and stuff the um, application sticks and there's like different sizes different kinds that it comes with and it also comes with different um, it comes with like different size of the waxing strip paper whatever you would call it um, and then yeah it just comes with like the lid and then this cover that goes on top so cute okay i'm gonna try to do this as best as possible because the way i have you rigged is actually like strugglesome um but i'm just gonna try to show you as best as i can uh, i'm gonna be looking obviously in the mirror so over here and i have my stuff over here so sorry if this is a struggle but let's do it <laughs>
mustache my skin looks smoother I did like a little lymphatic massage on my face just to kind of like I don't know, give it some mm. um, but yeah now I'm gonna jump into the shower and shave and do all of that nice stuff rinse all the oil off my face um, and I think that's it the only thing I really have left to do is finish packing and whitening my teeth and doing my toenails so no that's not it i have more things to do later um but yeah for now this is it for now all right you guys Ooh, it's just dirty so it is the morning of we are on our way well no, we're not on our way we are waiting to get picked up and heading to the airport um so yeah we are really excited. Ugh, sorry, my hair's a mess. Yeah, we're really excited and can't wait to get there. So we'll see you guys at the airport. Hey guys, I'm in the airport and this is going to be the last of the, well, the end of the video. I'll see you guys in California. You probably heard absolutely nothing, so. Bye. Thank you.